football fans, and welcome to the Touchdown Lady Podcast, where we talk football from a fan's point of view. I'm your host, Sandy, and let's just get into it. Now, there's a lot going on in the NFL right now, but the breaking news is that the New York Giants is now going to bench their quarterback, Daniel Jones. They paid him a $160 million, $160 million contract. Yeah, they didn't want to pay Saquon Barkley, so they let Saquon Barkley walk, and he, now he's playing for the Eagles, and he is having the year of his life. I don't know what the Giants are going to do, but they're going to start Tommy DeVito. I don't know who that is, but he's now going to be the starting quarterback for the New York Giants. We just got to have to see how this is going to play out and what they do in the offseason. But I want to talk about the Patriots in the Rams game. Now, I knew the Patriots are not going to win this game, but I like the way the Patriots are um, playing right now. I like Drake May. Ever since he became the starter, it looks like the players around him have gotten better. That's just my opinion. They moved the ball well in this game, I thought. I like the way Dre Mike got out the pocket. He can run the ball, can throw the ball, and he looks really good. And I think he is the quarterback for the New England Patriots. He had 282 yards, two touchdowns in this game. On the other side, Matthew Stafford had 295 yards and four touchdowns in this game. But I think the Patriots are now moving in the right direction. I just feel like the coaching is coming along with what his, um, and now playing towards his strengths in these games. So I'm looking forward to the Patriots, what they do in the offseason to build around Drake May so it could continue his success. Like I said, I like the directions that they are moving in. Everybody knows the Patriots are in a rebuild. Now, I want to talk about the games of the week that were surprise wins to me. I'm going to start off with the Chargers over the Bengals. Now, I had the Bengals winning this one, and they wound up losing to the Chargers 34-27. to The next game was the Saints in the Browns. I had the Browns winning this game. I know the Browns got some issues, especially in the quarterback position. But the Saints wind up beating the Browns 35-14. to The next game I want to talk about, the Seattle Seahawks over the 49ers. They wind up, Seattle wind up beating the 49ers 20-17. to What is going on with the San Francisco 49ers? I am a Brock Purdy fan. I don't know what's going on with them. Whatever's going on, they got to they gotta get it together. They got to figure it out. Come on, 49ers. The other surprise win for me was a big one was the Broncos over the Falcons. Now, Atlanta Falcons started off, I thought, pretty good this season. And now I don't know what's going on with them. They lost a couple of games. But this was a big loss. They lost to the Broncos 38-6. to Wow. Wow. I don't know. They're going to have to figure some things out. But moving on, I want to talk about the games that's worth talking about, the ones that I want to review um, this week. It's going to be divisional games. We're going to start off with the Eagles over the Washington Commanders. The Eagles wound up beating the Washington Commanders 26 to um, 18. Now this was a divisional game and now the e in the NFC North East Division, I should say, East Division, we're gonna have the Eagles over the Washington Commanders. They are now, Washington Commanders are now second and the Eagles are now first in this division. This was a really good game. It was not an easy win for the Eagles. In the second half of this game, the defense for the Eagles stepped up and they wound up winning this game. The Eagles now won six games straight. Now, a lot of people are saying that the Eagles are now looking like the Eagles from 2022, the NFC champs. At first, I didn't see it, but now with this win over Washington Commanders, they're starting to look like that again to me, and I want to see how far, how well, how, how far they go because they got the Lions that's in this division. I'm mean, in this um, conference, and the Lions are, yeah, they're a tough team right now. But shout out to the Eagles. A well, a well played game in this divisional game over the Washington Commanders. Jalen Hurts had 221 yards and one rushing touchdown in this game. Um, Jalen Daniels had 191 yards and one touchdown, one interception in this game. And Saquon Barkley had 146 yards and two touchdowns in this game. Like I said, the Eagles now won six straight and they are sitting at the top of the division, the NFC East Division. Now I want to talk about another divisional game was the Ravens and the Steelers. Now, this is an AFC North Divisional game that went down between these two rivals. Now, when these two get together, it's always a battle to an end, and this game did not disappoint. It had everything going on in this game that you would want in this game. Um, the Steelers wound up winning this game, though, 18-16 to 16 over the Ravens. The Steelers won this game with field goals only. There was no touchdown thrown by Russell, Russell, Russell Wilson in this game at all. Um, George Pickens only had 89 yards, no touchdowns in this game. Lamar Jackson had 207 yards, one touchdown in this game. Derrick Henry had 65 yards, one touchdown in this game. Zay Flowers had 39 yards and one touchdown in this game. Now, the Ravens had a chance to win this game in the fourth quarter. They were in the red zone of the Steelers, 
and Lamar Jackson runs out the pocket to the left, try to go to the end zone, but he wound up getting tackled, so he tosses the ball, and there was no Raven um, player there to catch the ball, so it wound up to be an incomplete pass, and they wind up winning the ball, giving the ball back to the Steelers in the game, and that was it. That's all she wrote in that game. But they did have a chance, the Ravens did have a chance to win this game. It just didn't work out for them. Now I want to talk about the Colts and the Jets. Now, the Colts wind up beating the, beating the Jets 27, I mean, the Colts wind up beating the Jets 28 to 27 over the Jets. Anthony Richardson, I thought he played a really well game, really pretty well game, and played, played pretty well in this game. Sorry, pretty well in this game. I thought he had, I thought he moved the ball well. He actually got um, two rushing touchdowns in this game. I thought he had 272 yards in this game. I thought he did really good in this game. On the other side, Aaron Rodgers had 184 yards, two touchdowns in this game. Yeah. Um, Brees Hall had 78 yards and one touchdown in this game. And Devontae Adams had 72 yards and no touchdowns in this game. I think it's over for the Jets. The season is over. There's no way they can turn it around at this point. That's just my opinion. Uh, I know you Jets fans had hope with Aaron Rodgers. Um, yeah, I think they need to move on from Aaron Rodgers to get a quarterback in the offseason. That's just my opinion. What do I know? I'm just a fan, but I think they should just move on um, from Aaron Rodgers and get a quarterback. And Yeah, that's just my opinion. But that's what happened in that game. The next thing I want, game I want to talk about is the Buffalo Bills and Kansas City. Now, this is the game of all games for me. You know, I'm a Bills fan, so I'm so happy that the Bills wound up beating Kansas City 30 to 21. The Bills gave Kansas City their first loss of the season, and Kansas City is now 9 and 1. So, this was a good game. This is a, a rivalry between these two that's been going on. Like I said, Josh Allen, he had 262 yards in this game, one touchdown in this game, one rushing touchdown in this game, and, and an interception in this game. Um, on the other side, and James Hook, Cook also had 20 yards and two touchdowns in this game. Amore Cooper had 55 yards in this game. On the other side, Patrick Mahomes had 196 yards, three touchdowns in this game, into interception. Now, draw, um, Mahomes actually threw the interception that ended the game in the fourth quarter. He was trying to run out the pocket. He was trying to move the ball, and he wound up throwing the ball, and he threw an interception, and that's how the game ended with Mahomes throwing an interception, and that's why Buffalo Bills won 30-21. to 21. But during the whole game, the Bills played really well on offense and defense. They was fast-paced. They established their run game fast. And like I said, when the Bills establish the run game and they have a fast pace in this game, it's tough to beat the Bills when they get like that. And that's what, they ha that's what happened in this game when they first started off. They got the first score of the game, and after that, they did pretty well on offense and defense. They look like a totally different Buffalo Bills than last year, the first half of the season. Ever since Joe Brady started calling the plays in December of last year to now, the Bills have turned it around, especially on the offense. And the defense stepped up as well in this game. Um, Travis Kelsey only had eight yards. Um, Xavier Worthy had 61 yards and a touchdown in this game. And Noah Gray had 23 yards and two touchdowns in this game. So Kansas City played okay, but it wasn't enough to beat the Bills this time. <laughs> Now let's talk about Thursday night football game. It's going to be a divisional game between the Browns and the Steelers. Yeah, we got to see who's going to win that. The Steelers are sitting on the, the, the leaders in the, NFC, in the AFC North Division. They are the leaders in this division right now. But I want to shout out to the Lions. They wound up beating the Jags 52-6 over the Jags. Now the Lions is that team. They're tough. They're physical. And when they get going, they can start to dominate you. And that's what they did to the Jaguars. I feel kind of bad for um, Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars. I don't know what they're going to do. I think this season is pretty much over as well. Yeah, but the Lions, they are one of the teams in the NFC to watch out for along with the Eagles. I think they are better than the Eagles right now actually in that conference. But yeah, Jared Goff had 412 yards, four touchdowns in this game. David Montgomery had two touchdowns in this game, and like I said, they just dominated over the Jaguars. But, the, like I said, the Lions, yeah, they're looking really good. They could be into the um, Super Bowl. The way they're playing, if they continue the way they're playing, yeah, they could be a real contender. But this is a part of the show. If you want to ask me any question or reach out to me through email, you can email me at 
touchdownladies at gmail.com. That's touchdownladies at gmail.com. Now, I'd like to end the show on a good note, and I'm going to go into what I call facts, fun, and football, where I shake my little jar right here, and I pull out a fact or fun. I don't know what we're going to get. Let's just see. And this is going to be a quote. The man who, who, um, the man who complains about the way the ball bounces is likely to the one who drops it. And that's from Lou Holtz. And this is Sandy from the Touchdown Lady saying, don't forget to smile, be happy, be kind, put your action behind your plan, and keep moving forward. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.